Let's look at another division of nonverbal communication, which is social communication. The environment in which we work and live influences how we communicate. It affects our verbal and then nonverbal behavior. People who work in the bank behave a certain way. People who work in audit firms behave a certain way. People who work in schools behave a certain way. People who work in hospitals behave a certain way. So let's look at the social aspects that send out important messages. So we have space. Personal distance extends from 1 to 4 feet away from the body. And this one is referred to as an invisible. So social distance between 4 and 8 feet away from the body is used for impersonal or business-like situations. So if you see two people, may maybe of different genders, standing like so close to each other you start assuming that they're lovers then when you see people that are talking but they've given themselves some good distance you think that ah, maybe they are talking about business or something else that is not personal so space communicates something yeah people who are always straight on each other you start thinking that they are lovers. And they may be lovers, they, they may not be lovers, but that's the assumption. So space between people communicates something. Another aspect we have is status. The title or the position of someone communicates something because you do not expect the MD of the company to behave the same way as the intern. No. They behave a certain way. So even the time that elapses between knocking at someone's door and the entry also communicates status. If you knock the office of uh, the office of cleaners, they will open the door quickly. But if you are knocking at the office of the general manager, the general manager may take his or her time. He may be busy handling other stuff. So that also communicates something. So status communicates something. It communicates how some someone behaves, where someone stays, things like that, how much they earn. Then we also have another aspect which is symbol. These are used by organizations to identify themselves and their products. They create recognition of the organization and its products. So they are important in selling the products of the company. For example, logos and then trademarks. You can just see a logo and you be like, this is Absa Bank. you be like, this is Mukwano. So those symbols communicate something to the public. So those are the three aspects of social communication. We have space. They are three S's. We have space. We have status. And then we have symbols.